Hello everybody, this is Axel LeBeer, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to play DOS games on your BlackBerry Playbook. It's quite easy, and I apologize for the quality of this video. I had to record it on a tablet because my uh, Q10 was giving me a few jittery issues with the recording. It kept stepping a little bit. Uh, but that's what I get for running a bunch of leak software from the UK here in Southeast Ohio. Anyway, right to it. So the first thing you're going to need is a Bluetooth keyboard. Obviously, I have uh, chosen the official one from BlackBerry, though when it was released, the company wasn't called BlackBerry. So this keyboard has been around for a little while, but it does work, and I use it on pretty much every device that I own. And here's what you need. So before you start anything, you're going to have to go into App World, and you're going to download DOSBox. Now, once you've done that, you can run pretty much any DOS application on the playbook. This has been covered by other people on the internet, so I'm not going to go into it too deeply. But once you've installed that, you see I have it right here. I'm going to apt for the mouse pointer here so my hand doesn't get in the way so much. This is your typical DOS, boss, dox, DOS box interface. Sorry, it's pretty late here right now. Uh, but before you actually run the applications, you're going to need to install them. And by installing them, I simply mean copying them onto the device. So you'll need a file browser. Uh, I have been a big fan of file browser, the actual application, instead of some of the others that are out in App World. I only paid 99 cents for this about two years ago. You can see that we're uh, definitely nearly three years in by the date here of the production and release of the playbook. So I've been pretty happy with it for a good long time. But if you have any of the applications that will run within DOS on your PC, I'm running Windows 7 here, but I just have a bunch of stuff stored. I'm kind of a storage hog. <clears throat> you can run just about anything. So I have some. Uh, some of the full versions, some are shareware versions. I don't go too crazy for this because I have a lot of stuff to play with here. But it is fun from time to time. So once you've copied them in here, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So you can see where I keep everything. I'm going to go back in here and open up my file browser. And I've seen other people on the internet do it this way. Uh, so I have too. I'm sure you can put the... <clears throat> apps anywhere you want, but for the sake of sticking with the program here, I've put everything in the MISC folder. Everything that's DOS related I have stuck in here. Once I've opened that up, I created a DOS folder. Now one thing I've learned just prior to shooting this video, when you're mounting the drive, capitalization seems to matter. I'll show you that here in just a little bit. And just a little bit ago, I haven't actually installed it yet, I'm going to go through that on here, I dropped Doom. Uh, everything you have seen on here does run, or it wouldn't be on here because sadly I am stuck with a 16 gigabyte version at the moment and there is not a lot of space on there. So if it doesn't work, I don't keep it on here. So you don't do anything with it from here. Once you've got it in there, you'll see the path will start with shared MISC DOS, and now I'll show you exactly what that means. So from here we will open DOSBox. You'll have to bear with me with the typing here as I have only one finger to do this. But from here, originally this is where I was stuck. I did not know what else to do, uh, but once I figured it out it was actually quite easy. Right now it shows the drive as the Z drive. If I can get this to focus, that would be wonderful. There we go, it's a little bit better. So here is where the keyboard comes in to begin with. You're going to type in C colon space. Sorry, that's totally wrong. I'm ahead of myself. Back to just the Z prompt. Mount, M-O-U-N-T space C colon just like that. Another space. Shared. Slash. 
M I S C slash, and this is where I was talking about capitalization matters. So I recommend you make your DOS folder lowercase, capital D O S, just like that. Now we'll just press enter, and you'll get this prompt saying. Drive C is mounted as a local drive shared dot slash M I S C slash DOS. At this point, you need to actually go into the drive by, if you have any history in DOS, and I have some, you know how to do this, but it is C colon, just like that, and then press enter. And now we've mounted the C drive. To pull up the directory, to see everything you have in there, which is Oops, wrong direction. Everything you have here, this is now the C drive. This is everything that's going to show up when you do this. So we'll go back to DOSBox and we'll type in directory. The shortcut for that is D I R Enter. And now you can see all those folders are showing up. So in order to run or install, in this case, Doom, you'll see Doom's popped up there. I'm going to type in CD. Let me switch hands here. Backslash D O O M. And now it's popped up right there. I'm in the directory folder of Doom. And although you can just type install in this case in order to show you how to do this, because some will say setup, some will stay, say install, we're going to go into the directory. The IR of the Doom folder. I'll press enter, and you'll see this is what we have uh, with DOS as well as regular Windows. They're all executable files. .exe. So I'm not sure why install's not showing up because I'm not a pro at this, but I do know how to do the basic stuff. So I'm going to type install. Install is what you need. I N S T A L L, and we will execute that with the enter key, and you'll get this prompt. Which drive do you want to install it to? Of course, we're doing the C drive, so we'll type C. Enter directory to copy into, do an S, just hit enter. Doesn't exist. Of course, it doesn't. We haven't created it yet. Y for yes, and it will install the files. Sorry for the shaky camera. And we are inflating. Don't seem to have. Looks like we're stuck. This only happens when I'm shooting a video. Oh wait, here we go. We're still inflating. I guess I just needed more patience. My lack of patience might have something to do with the fact that it is getting late. Okay. And we're in the basic setup. Very DOS-like. Uh, Sound blaster. Blaster. We'll just hit enter for accept. Just hit enter, accept, enter, enter, enter. Chances are, since this game came out like 25 years ago, uh, the playbook should be able to handle it, so we won't worry about that. Save parameters. I'm going to unhighlight that so you can actually read it. Save parameters and launch Doom. Go back down to it and press enter. And now we're going back to the command prompt, and it's finishing the process. And we've got Doom. New game. And everything works just as you would expect. 
The wonderful thing with this is that you can actually plug it into your HDTV over HDMI and have HD Doom. Of course, it's not actually HD resolution, but I mean, what can you expect? All right, I'm gonna go with Shift Plus to increase screen size, and it works just as it would on a PC. I'll just play this for a few seconds just so you can see it works because I'm doing it one-handed and I can't reach all the keys. Let's see if I can get shot. Man, I got stuck deep in the door. Just one other thing to show you real quick is that um, cheats do work. So if you want to type in I D D, whoops, wait, that's for the maps. How about I D K F A? Now I've got all ammo. This is shareware, so you don't get a bug rocket launcher, unfortunately. But. And we're done. If any of you are interested in getting other DOS games for your playbook and doing a similar installation, if you don't have them in your archive, because I'm quite the uh, hog and I have all kinds of stuff from eons ago, eons ago, eons ago, I need to quit watching so much Ghostbusters with my two-year-old. But anyway, uh, this is an excellent source. I have no affiliation with this site, but I've got some of my stuff off of here. It is dosgames.com. It's all shareware. There's nothing copyright infringed on here. But if you are interested, it'll get you started and you can check it out and enjoy some retro gaming on your playbook. Once again, this is Axel Lebeer. Please uh, reply in the comments if you have any questions. And also, don't forget, this is brought to you through my Q10 on Blackberry channels. Save the playbook. Join the channel. Here's the pin. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.